Hi, this one's going to be in natural light, as you can maybe tell. We don't get an awful lot of sunlight here, especially this time of year, but got lucky today. Also, most of my reviews are shot in, you know, late afternoon to evening, so. And today I will be looking at Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Smash Up. Now, I try to be objective and weigh the good and the bad and give you an unbiased, balanced review. But I can't help it. I, I freaking love this game. I have played it every single day since I started playing it. It's so much fun. It's, it's so addictive. It... Okay, I'll try to dial down. It's got the same the same visual style and look as the the 2007 movie, as well as the 2007 game, the licensed game for the movie. And it's made by uh, Ubisoft, who also made the licensed game, which, by the way, is also pretty good uh, if you haven't tried it. Think Prince of Persia, only with you know green skin and shells. So it's got some of that the same physics. In this one, you can you know you climb walls and leap from walls and all kinds of stuff. And it's it's very fast paced. I'm I I I gotta admit I love good beat 'em up games. And I don't know I I haven't played every single turtles game out there, but this is the first real beat 'em up turtles game. In spite of the fact that it's so obvious they use martial arts and you know and so do their enemies uh, a lot of them anyway um but yeah and that's also that was also always my attraction to the turtles they combine two of my favorite things superheroes and martial arts yeah and and it's it's one of those fighting games where it's not about you know figuring out and then memorizing these long um, combinations. It's, you know, the way I prefer a beat em up game. It's about reflexes, it's about timing. Um, you can pick up the controller and almost immediately, I mean, you'll want to practice a little bit before facing off against anyone, but you can get into it very quickly. Uh, the, the controls are very intuitive. There's a reasonable selection of characters. I think it's about, I don't know, 10, 12. Um, a couple of them, one or two, I didn't recognize, but I haven't, I, I haven't read the original comics, and I haven't um, gotten into every single iteration of uh, the Turtles. So, perhaps a tiny spoiler for the 2007 movie. As you see in that one, April O'Neil fights in this one. There's like, um, for example, you f you can fight aboard this cruise ship, and as uh, it as time progresses, it will crash into an iceberg, sink, and you'll then jump onto this, I don't know, I'm not an expert on sea life, but I guess a whale, and it can, like, um, you know, blow water out, out its blowhole, and if you're over that, you'll be blown into the air, and you fight aboard this um, moving freight train, and you can unhook uh, by uh, by hitting the um, you by hitting the mechanism thing, you can unhook uh, the carriages behind you. You can also play um, like tag team and um, obviously tag in the partner anytime you want. And if you do a throw, you can activate your partner and you'll both uh, hit the guy. Um, very cool. You can also uh, define the rules pretty clearly for um, matches between you and your friends. For example, there are these um, ninja powers where, like, you can breathe fire very briefly, um, throw throwing stars and stuff like that, and you can turn any one of those off. There are several different modes of play. Um, Battle Royale, if I recall, is like for just straight, you know, for fights between you and your friends. Um, by the way, there can be up to four players on screen, and you know, it can be like you against three um, computer-controlled opponents, 
or you against a couple of friends. With that said, I don't know if you can actually play like four different players at the same time. I haven't tried that yet, I only have two controllers. But, so don't hold me to that. And then there are a couple of uh, tournament modes, including a, a Wi-Fi one, um, so you can play on the internet. And then there are the, the missions. Um, now, uh, there's like, there's 50 total, and uh, they come unlocked in batches of five, though you don't have to complete five to get the next five. And these tend to be like, um, you have to master this or that specific ability that you have in the game, for example, wall attacks, or there's this thing called swing by attacks where you grab a pole in midair and attack uh, from it. And then there's, of course, the arcade mode. Now, the plot is pretty silly. Um, it's like Splinter is throwing a tournament and he's gonna be in it himself and he's in, you know, it's the Four Turtles and he's invited uh, Casey and April as well. But, you know, basically what fighting game doesn't have, what beat him up doesn't have kind of a silly story. It's always, you know, there's a tournament and these people are in it and that's it. You know, th some of them do have like overarching character stuff and such. Um, I think that the Tekken series had some, but you know, but it it gets the job done. And um, and that, like every uh, for every couple of fights of the arcade mode, you get to play uh, a bonus game of your choice. There's like six, and uh, they're all different from one another. Uh, all like completely unique. And once you've beaten um, the arcade mode, uh, you get to unlock uh, one character, and it'll also unlock one of these six bonus games. The storytelling is done through this these cool um, stylized um, comic panels. I don't know enough about comic books to be able to describe like the exact style, but it's like it's kind of limited in color, and um, it goes back and forth between. A great amount of detail and not as much detail to f to fit the the situation. You know, like in comic books, like the the action situation will maybe not have that much detail. You know, it'll be like a blank background, or the background will be in one color or something. Um, and the dialogue ones will have very detailed surroundings. You know. But yeah, I I love it. It's fast paced. It's fun. It's really addictive. You know, if you like the two thousand seven game, if you like beat 'em ups, if you like the turtles, you're probably gonna like it. Um, I don't know if I had to say something negative. The arcade mode could maybe be longer. It's like twenty or thirty minutes, and then you've completed it. But you will be coming back, you know, for the other to, to unlock the rest of the characters and the rest of the bonus games. There's there's a ton of unlockable stuff, by the way. So you know you'll be coming back for that as well. I don't know something else negative. It's it's still somewhat silly. I mean, it's not on the level of the 1990s live action movies, thank God. But it is still somewhat goofy. I mean, for example, the fire-breathing thing um, has the other character, like, jumping around, like, the, you know, the hot foot thing, you know, so, yeah, and, I don't know, it's fairly minor, because he does, he doesn't talk that much, and I only really noticed it in the arcade mode, but Splinter does sound more German than Asian. I don't know. That's all I got. I hope I was still helpful this time. Um, see you next time.